Hello, my name is Carlisa Washington and I'm the Director of Bands at the Yvonne A. Newell Townview Magnus Center. The opportunity that the students have had with participating in this wonderful showcase has afforded them um, opportunities to work together, especially with our freshmen to be mentored by our senior students. And if we think about the beginning of the year, as some of the students have expressed, we had to do our camp virtually. And so that's a totally different experience than actually working together. So this opportunity allowed um, all of the members of the drum line to come together. Some of them hadn't seen each other in a while. So they're excited about that, but also for those students who may have been struggling in certain, certain areas um, in music to have the opportunity to learn from the, the upperclassmen and to grow. Um, the hands-on experience is the best experience. And so they've definitely um, benefited from it. And the discipline that's required as a musician uh, regardless of whatever level you are, when you have those goals set and the students stepped up and they, they were prepared and you'll see the final product and we hope you enjoy what they've been working on. I go to the School of Science and Engineering at the Yvonne A. Ewell Townview Center. I've been in the band for three years. Um, I play the quince in the percussive section. 
Uh, this, this school year has definitely been challenging because it's such a huge transition between being in person and suddenly being online. Being in band it was definitely a challenge because there's so many things that you need to do in person versus online and you can't get that experience. But thankfully with the power of our leaders and all of our band members, we're able to have a pretty good year. Man, it was amazing because the drumline is home for us members. And so seeing all of our friends once again, it's amazing. and I'm a senior at the School of Business and Management at Yvonne A. Ewell Town View Magnuson. I've been in the band for all four years of high school. Yeah, I'm the bass section leader. And I've been the bass section leader for two years. I've been in countless amount of competitions and we have won most of them, so it is a good feeling to be able to, you know, come back and do at least, you know, one last, comp well, not competition, but showcase, you know, just 
as our one last ride. difficult part would have to be um, 
the fact that I don't get to come and walk through these walls, like through these walls as a senior one last time, I kind of have to, you know, just have my senior glory at the house. And I don't get to, you know, help the freshmen come up like the seniors did when I was a freshman and, and sophomore and junior. So it is kind of sad, but you know, you have to get what you take. Uh, the most memorable part would probably be, you know, getting able to see my section leaders or well, section members one last time, well, for the last couple of times, um, because we have been through quarantine, so we all have changed a bit and we did have to almost reteach everything. But you know that thought, it's good to know that they still have that passion still there. Um, it was just an indescribable amount of joy because we did have band camp over, you know, the computer, but it wasn't the same. There wasn't the, we didn't have the time to band together and kind of bond over the struggles that we had to go through because we were at the house. But getting to see them again was very exciting. This year has definitely been as everyone has used an unprecedented year because of um, the pandemic and COVID. And our students, of course, have struggled as well. Even as adults, we've been struggling. So it's, it's been a challenging year. However, our students have been very resilient. Um, this has been my first year as, as director of bands here at Townview Center. I've been here for quite a long time. Um, so I didn't expect my first year to quite go this way. However, we were, you know, had to be innovative in our, in our thinking and try to find ways to keep them motivated and keep them inspired in spite of maybe some of them having to be virtual as opposed to some of them were here in person. And as an educator, we're always mindful of the social and emotional learning of students and being able to tap into that. Um, because in high school, over the years, the trend has been to, we've seen a lot more students who've been suffering, um, not only with their identity, but just being able to um, able to emotionally represent themselves. So um, the opportunity that the Drumline Showcase has presented has been phenomenal because now our students' uh, morale have been, has been boosted, especially with the Drumline, giving them the opportunity to come together, to collaborate. You know, they've been friends for three, um, four years. Some of them may have been friends in middle school. And for this to be, especially the seniors last year, um, was somewhat devastating but this opportunity came about, and so this, of course, lifted their morale, inspired them to come together to collaborate and to make music, which is what they really want to do, and to socially and emotionally connect to um, be able to continue to grow as musicians and as young adults, too.
Hi, I'm Dean Hill, retired band director at the Vaughn A. Ewell Town View Center. I'd just like to take a moment to say uh, we are very pleased and thankful for the students and directors who signed on to take part in our virtual drumline competition this year. First of all, let me say thanks to the staff and drumline at Skyline High School, Mr. Carlton Williams, Mr. Carlton Cooper at Hutchins, Wilman Hutchins High School, Mr. James Gibson at Kimball High School, and the staff at the Yvonne A. Ewell Town View Center, Ms. Carl Lisa Washington, drum instructor Mr. Jerry Walker, for the outstanding job with their students coming and taking part. Uh, we, as a member of the Office of Cultural Affairs, strive to put on meaningful programs to try to inspire young people to continue with their art form. And we know that in doing so, we'll also have consumers to come for years to come and for the students to be able to have something to look forward to to keep working on their skill set. So as we go forward, we're looking to do more things to try to keep that going in our city. Thank you very much, Office of Cultural Affairs.